Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, and Dr. Casey. Thank you for this opportunity to provide a brief update on our energy management program. Uh, before I get started, I would like to take a second to recognize Julia Reynolds, who's sitting right here in the front row. She's our energy management administrator. Uh, she is truly a one-woman show, and uh, the successes that I'm talking about today couldn't be accomplished without her dedication and effort. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Julia. Appreciate your work. So our, our overall goal with the energy management program is to use the combination of strategies to improve energy efficiency and overall sustainability. Um, this concept is illustrated through an energy management pyramid, which uh, demonstrates the complexity and that uh, complexity and cost of energy actions typically increase as you move from consumption to energy efficiency and finally to alternative energy. Uh, Conservation is every, everyday efforts that we do, like uh, reducing temperature settings on thermostats and ensuring that our equipment is operating um, efficiently and is well maintained. Efficiency measure, measures entail uh, the use of materials or technology to reduce energy use, such as occupancy, occupancy sensors on interior lighting or high, effic high efficiency HVAC systems. Um, finally, alternative energy would be, would be systems such as solar power. Um, we, every day we work in close coordination with schools and utilities as they are the other uh, largest consumers of energy outside of county government operations. Uh, but having said this, the data that we're talking about today reflects uh, the county government side and doesn't include any data from schools. So again, in the energy management program, we really place a high value on, on fundamentals uh, so that we ensure we're achieving an ongoing gain from past initiatives. Uh, continual collection or, and review of consumption and expense trend information through an a database we use called Energy Cap um, helps us to identify and ultimately investigate any deviations that we may see uh, from month to month or year to year. Uh, participation in, in the Virginia Energy Purchasing Governmental Associ Association, uh, which is charged with tracking energy developments in Virginia and negotiating electricity contracts on behalf of 170 local government members, uh, saves taxpayers across the state millions of dollars each year. And uh, Ms. Reynolds, Mrs. Reynolds is actively involved in that organization and currently sits on the board of directors. Uh, we also participate in programs such as demand response where we re receive rebates in exchange for voluntary reduction of energy demand during periods of peak need, um, as well as an energy efficiency program that provides us rebates for reduced, cons reduced consumption achieved through other programs and system replacements uh, that we do every, every year through the major maintenance program. Annually, we also conduct rate evaluations to ensure that there haven't been uh, changes in rate schedules that would prompt us to make shifts based on usage patterns. Um, bill auditing is also conducted to protect against billing errors and cost spikes from malfunctioning equipment that may not necessarily be readily detectable. Uh, this process also identifies opportunities to potentially transition to more beneficial rate schedules. Chesterfield Unplugged, which is our award-winning employee-focused program, uh, educates employees on energy conservation and through that knowledge, knowledge helps us achieve ongoing reductions in energy usage. Our facility designs for all renovation and new construction focus on energy reduction and sustainability strategies. Uh, this could be anything from the uh, HVAC equipment that we're choosing, low flow fixtures, and uh, recycling of demolition and debris that might come from a, from a demolition or a, a renovation. In fleet services, we're currently operating 56 vehicles on liquid propane, 
And since the inception of this program in FY13, we've achieved just under 340,000 in fuel cost avoidance and achieved approximately 4.8 million pounds of carbon, of redu reduction of carbon dioxide emissions. Um, through a partnership with Dominion Energy, uh, Chesterfield County Public Schools will be soon placing two electric school buses in service. Uh, we're supporting that effort uh, with uh, maintenance of the buses and the charging stations and other logistical support for that project. Uh, as a further demonstration of organization-wide commitment on this topic, uh, Chesterfield is also a eight consecutive year recipient, recipient of the VACO Go Green Award, which recognizes local governments for comprehensive environmental stewardship programs. Um, and this is truly a uh, effort that involves many departments and we, we couldn't do that without the help of, uh, like I said, a lot of departments, uh, utilities and environmental engineering just being a couple of those. <clears throat> Uh, this slide provides uh, some information on energy-related expenditure and consumption data uh, for the past three fiscal years. Uh, without question, the most recent data and the data that we'll see at the end of uh, fiscal 21 is impacted by the pandemic and may not present an apples-to-apples -apples snapshot uh, in that utilization of uh, in almost every county facility has been significantly altered by uh, operations during the pandemic. Uh, beyond that, there are also many factors that, uh, that influence this data, energy consumption, um, rate changes from providers, supply and demand, weather, governmental regulations all play into uh, to ultimately where these numbers land at the end of the year. Uh, but having said this, um, the expenditures are relatively flat over the period. Turning to current initiatives, uh, we have four, four items that we want to highlight. Uh, the first is retrofitting of uh, existing street lights with LED lighting packages uh, to achieve longevity of the equipment and long-term cost savings. Uh, while there is some, some one-time effort required to provide Dominion Energy with, with the required information to make those conversions, uh, once implemented, the projects typically produce a payback of a year and a half or less. Major maintenance project will be starting in FY22 for exterior lighting enhancements. Uh, beyond the energy management and cost-saving benefits, this project it will also enhance security and reduce ongoing maintenance requirements for buildings and grounds. Um, at Mr. Winslow's suggestion, we're also evaluating harmonic filters through a program at the Ettrick Library. Uh, these devices help to mitigate the nev negative impact of abnormal power loads, which can lead to inefficient distribution and ultimately increase energy costs. Um, now that this building is uh, back to mostly normal operations, we'll be able to fully evaluate the effectiveness there with normal power loads and report back on the, on the overall benefits. Uh, we're also very excited to announce um, uh, our largest initiative, which is in the area of solar energy. Um, in partnership with schools, we're evaluating the potential for solar installations at 17 county government facilities and schools. Uh, the image you see on this slide depicts how solar panels would be deployed at the Eanes Pittman Public Safety Training Center. This project would be accomplished through a power purchase agreement, which is an arrangement in which a third party developer owns, operates, and maintains the solar system and the county agrees to site the system on our property uh, and purchase the output from the provider at a pr for a predetermined period. Uh, this arrangement allows the county to receive stable and low-cost electricity while the uh, provider acquires valuable financial benefits such as tax credit and in income generated from the sale of electricity. Uh, but ultimately the primary gain for the county is long-term rate stability. 
staff from both county and schools. Uh, we're, we're still working on our due diligence for this project, uh, but we hope to be back to the board uh, with more details in the near future. Chair. Yes, Mr. Question Chair. On that. So mm -hmm. the energy that's generated, I'm assuming, will be sent out into the, the grid and monitored as to how much is generated, and, and that's how the, uh, the billing will work? The, you don't, you, you, we will not remove utility power from the building. It's to, so you're going to derive the most of the energy from the solar, but we won't take away the utility power, you know, so we ensure that we have uh, everything we need at all times. But there's, uh, there's equipment that will be in the building that will, that will manage that process and whether you're pulling from the solar power or the utility power. Uh, before closing, I uh, did want to mention uh, the county's environmental stewardship website, which can be found under the government's quick link section of chesterfield.gov. Uh, this, this page provides excellent information about the environmental and sustainability efforts of numerous departments in several categories. So again, thank you for this opportunity, and with that, I'm happy to take any questions the board may have. Thank you, Mr. Bowles. Any questions, comments? Thank you very much.